in memory of Tiger Rollins Campbell. His mother, Serena Campbell, will receive his diploma. The family of Tiger Rollins did not get to see him graduate. The Dwyer High School football player pictured here on a GoFundMe page raising money for his funeral last year died in February 2022 after Jupiter police said they found his body in a canal following a ride in a stolen car. Now, about a year and a half later, the other two teenagers police say were with him at the time are in custody. 17-year-old Isabella Satarik and 19-year-old Amante Brown made their first appearances before a judge for third-degree murder charges, grand theft, and fleeing or attempting to elude police. Their arrest reports say the three stole a car from an apartment off Mallard's Cove Road. Police started to follow the vehicle and soon after found it abandoned with the doors open. The report says Brown told his mother he got in trouble and they took a car last night, got caught by the police who put out stop sticks and they fled into the water. Brown advised that he made it to the middle of the water and he told Tiger Rollins to turn around. It also says Brown went to Rollins' house and his father said, quote, Brown dropped to his knees and cried, telling them he was sorry. It said Brown did not see Tiger get out of the water or tell anyone Tiger was in the water when he and Satarik left. What they're saying is, is that these other individuals are responsible for the death of of their co-defendant. WPTV legal analyst Michelle Suskauer explains the third degree murder charge. But it's a charge that uh, an individual can get that arises from a nonviolent felony like stealing a car and then an unintentional death happens. Somebody drowns. That's what happened in this particular case. 